Okay, everybody. So I'm going to do separate videos for this to make your life and my life a little bit easier, but I just want to give you an overall of what your project options are this week. You could create a recycled cereal box or even seltzer container relief using different layering techniques. So you'll see my video on that where I make this art palette. You could use a corrugated cardboard. Corrugated cardboard has these ridges. They have these ridges where they have a little bit of thickness and depth to them. And you could create these textural art pieces. I recreated one of my favorite paintings here and then I did a little plant piece here as well as some fruit. You could use toilet paper tubes or cardboard tubes, any kind of cylindrical cardboard tube that you have and recreate a famous painting on. I chose to do a artist representation of different famous artworks and paintings um, of artists in cat form. So I used Angie Rosser. Um, you'll see in my other sample that I have on the slide, there is a Gustav Klimt image, just like you'll see a Starry Night example and Wizard of Oz. And then the last option is the larger form 3D sculpture of corrugated cardboard. You could use tag board for this. This is quite a bit larger that I can't even fit into my camera frame. It is going to take over it, but this one you can use color with as well. So the only two options that you're able to use color with are the larger piece if you want to, or the um, toilet paper tubes, the corrugated cardboard kind of texture carving will stay in Sharpie and white colored pencil or pen, as well as carved away, as will the kind of chipboard cereal box cardboard sculptures that you're creating with these. These can also stay with zero color on them. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you are some of the tools that you can use for these projects. You'll need some sort of ruler or straight edge if you want to have really precise angles. I have a pencil sharpener here because I'm going to be doing a lot of drawing and I used colored pencils to color in my Monstera leaves, so I needed a colored pencil sharpener for that. If you have an X-Acto knife or some sort of craft knife that's useful, erasers, scissors, and then you might want some glue. A, I did all of these with a glue stick, so you don't have to have a liquid glue. I did also get a hot glue gun. That is how I attached my Monstera leaves together. And then some other funky supplies that you can use that I found really handy, where I have this like little cuticle nail tool, tweezers, a nail clipper, and this little like knife on the end was very useful. So these are some of the basic tools. You'll also need, depending on what projects you're choosing, you might need Sharpie for some of the lines, white gel pen, and then if you choose to do one of the painted toilet paper rolls, you may need paint as well. I used acrylic, but you could go in with a tempera or a gouache. Just remember that tempera and gouache are not water safe. So these are obviously for display only, but these last a little bit longer. So that's about it for your supplies. And I'm gonna get into a quick video about each of the project options for you. So hang tight. So I can't wait to see what you guys choose. So please click through the presentation to see the other videos on how to create lots of fun recycled cardboard art.